Last time the family opened Snowflake Day gifts, and now all the children's birthdays are approaching. So this episode was recorded together with the previous one, and right at the end of episode 28 I lost my voice audio, and that continued into the beginning of this episode for about the first four minutes. So right here I just fast forwarded a little bit. I'm I threw away some waffled stuff. I'm looking at Charlotte's bear. I also gave her extra bear to Alexandra, so Alexandra should be much happier. And I'm also taking away their cow and whale toys so Valhalla can sell them at the consignment store at some point. So the, the toddlers are starting to wake up and the only skill left that they need is Erica needs to finish learning to talk, which she's almost finished with. And we'll get that sorted out this morning. Cyclone got a raise for 9 simoleons per hour. That's good. And Kelda was up all night. She's now going to bed. Oh yeah. Alexandra wanted to build an igloo, so I thought, let's have Charlotte build it with her. Cyclone has been helping the Preserve Our Llamas movement in the local area and did a great write-up on their cause. They have responded by making Cyclone an honorary member and singing his praises to the higher-ups at his office. I assume this might be related to Charlotte and her desire to support charitable causes. I love how quickly they're putting this igloo together. Little do you guys know how very important this igloo is going to be to our future. I just cut away a little bit there as I tried to get the camera closer. So Charlotte started a snowball fight and during this snowball fight my computer kind of freaked out and at that point I realized I'd lost my audio so I very shortly I'm going to restart the game after I save and at that point the regular audio will be back on so that'll be great. And we should be going back to your regularly scheduled audio track in a couple seconds. So when we are done teaching Erica to talk, it is going to be bottle time! For everyone. We just taught Erica to talk. We will always remember the adorable misspoken baby words. Aw, Erica just learned how to talk. Next up, getting Erica to stop talking. Alright, I believe now everyone walks, talks, and is generally awesome. And we are on medium lifespan, 
We have three days until the toddlers age up. That seems very unlikely, but that's what the game is telling me. Toddlers are toddlers for four days. I think something might be wrong here. I just realized what's wrong. Yeah. Oh. When I was making Machinima the other day, I... Instead of goofing with the lifespan so that nobody would accidentally age up during the Machinima making, I decided to just leave it on medium and disable the enable aging. So... Unfortunately, this means that on, it was either today or yesterday, the girls should have aged up to teens, and on Friday, which is, yeah, that's today, the toddlers should age up to children. What we're going to do is we're going to cake up everybody today. This is going to be complete chaos, but this is what should have happened, so we're going to do it. So first up is Charlotte. Hopefully we won't cancel giving Kelda a bottle for that. Good, it looks like we won't. We never fixed your jacket. And you're gonna wear your goggles for this. That's, that's so appropriate, somehow, that that would happen. Gosh, there's a lot of blue in this room. Sometimes the camera is so frustrating. Your sister's cheering. Hooray! I love how she came back in the house and put on her pajamas at 12.48 p.m. I guess on snow days we wear pajamas. That did not happen in my house when I was a child. Come on, Charlotte. What do you look like? Oh. Oh, Cyclone has earned 506 simoleons. Charlotte has reached her teen years. Angst and raging hormones can make this a difficult period for any sim. Charlotte can now join the workforce by taking a part-time job, although her grades are still a big factor in her future success. Due to her indifferent study habits, and honestly guys, I don't think a B grade is indifferent study habits, you will not be allowed to choose a trait for Charlotte. Charlotte has developed the workaholic trait. Oh, so a part-time job could become very, very profitable for her, and that's probably what we'll do. Okay, here you are, Charlotte. You look so much like your grand... Wait, no, your great-grandmother. It's insane. And your grandmother. Could just be because you're a teenager, though. Alright, do you really actually need that cake? Because I don't want you to gain... A lot of weight and you don't need the cake. No 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 no. Oh we're gonna have cake insanity. I wish I could take all the toddlers off the lot and then Valhalla could leave. Oh actually Charlotte you can babysit now because you're a teenager so that's not actually such a bad idea. Let's go to the consignment store. First we'll have a pee. I don't know if I gave the consignment store a hotkey. I'm going to reassign the dumpster to to be the consignment store, because we're not really... We don't have time to make use of the dumpsters anymore. Things have changed. So let's go with... Control 9. We want to buy... And as soon as Valhalla gets off the lot... No, 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 no. 
You, no, no cake. No cake. Cake is bad for you. We don't need cake. Alright, Val, are you- oh, Cyclone's home too. Let's get Cyclone out of here. Let's watch the stars with Mom. Pillow fight with Fiona McIrish. Ugh. Come on, Cyclone. We're not gonna do that. What is that thing? Oh yeah, a plush doll. What can you do with it? Wow. Can the babies play with that? No. Okay, that appears to be just decorative. That thing is so strange. I don't know if this is appropriate for our house. It's only three simoleons. Yeah, we're just gonna sell the thing, it's scary. Cyclone, let's get you out of the house. We should really... Oh yeah, you've got these opportunities. Let's finish our biography and we're not going to do it at the home computer because this, these birthdays, there's going to be five birthdays, or well, four more, and that would be very disruptive. So let's finish our biography if we can. Continue writing style and styles. And if we stop writing it for some reason, we will play computer games to max out our fun. Now, Charlotte. Why don't you see if you can get a part-time job? Uh, jobs, where is it? Jobs and professions. Find job. Now let's go back and look at our traits. We're workaholic, we're excitable, which just means we cheer and get excited. We're good, which means she wants to be nice to people and send money out in the mailbox. And she loves the heat. So she does like to be outside, but she's a workaholic. Gosh, is there any career that takes advantage of both of those? I'm trying to think. Self-employed careers don't really take advantage of workaholic, and Rabbit Hole can't take advantage of Loves the Heat, so we're just going to pick up some part-time job. Set booby trap, scary computer. No. Jobs, fine job. Oh, we already, we already did that. And next up, Alexandra. Alexandra is also going to get a message about her indifferent grades. Alexandra's having a birthday, Valhalla saw Charlotte grow up, Cyclone earned a promotion. Oh, cool! We'll read the message after this chaotic... Oh, I forgot to let Valhalla leave. Oh, I'll chat with Molly? No. What? Go to the consignment store. Wow, everybody just canceled everything. Go to work. Go work. Continue writing. So Cyclone's been promoted to investigative reporter, as well as a bonus of sixteen ninety six. Oh, that's unfortunate. Let's finish reading this message, and then we're going to panic. Papers are flying off shelves, but that's not enough. You've been tasked to bring in dirt on anything of interest to the newspaper buying public. Dig too deep and you may bite off more than you can chew. Not deep enough and you're not worthy of your investigative reporter badge. It's a fine line and you're the one who must walk it. Cyclone now makes 135 per hour and works from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Cool. A fire has started on our home lot. Cyclone has left work and earned a lot of money today. Wow, we're making so much money. I think we might have to... Possibly, if we burn down the house, we'll just have to rebuild it with that money. Oh, there's cake everywhere. Okay. I don't know what people are going to do. It looks like everybody's cancelled everything. I suppose I can't sell this cake, no. Can somebody put out the fire? Cyclone, what are you doing? Wait. 
Um, um. We lost an envelope collection in the flames, I understand. Guys! Can we just, like, this is really stupid, but can we just leave? <laughs> Let's see if we can get Cyclone to leave. I made a close call with the flames. Yeah, that's just not gonna happen. Where's the fireman? Please come, fireman. I don't want my family to burn to death. Can we put out the fi- Oh, here we go. Extinguish. Why don't we all try extinguishing these flames? Oh my god. This is ridiculous. Oh, there's more fire. Come on, guys. Use the fire extinguisher. Where is the freaking fire department? What kind of dead zone do we live in here? Wow. Insurance is granting us 47 simoleons to cover our loss from the fire. It sounds like they're not paying for the cake. Well, that's disgusting. That was a close call. Good job at extinguishing the fire before we could arrive. Be careful to not start fires in your house. Alright. This is a nightmare. We need to get the parents off the lot, or nothing is going to get done today. We're not going to get to the consignment store before 3. That's really frustrating. Ugh. You're right by the washer dryer. Let's move clothes to dryer. I'm tempted to just send you into the igloo where you could just silently meditate on all that has happened today and be free of the birthdays, but that's not going to, that doesn't actually work. So, Val, you can babysit. Let's send Charlotte out. You're going to use the other computer at the library to get a part-time job. You guys should be more careful next time. Yeah, you think? And Charlotte, when you come home, we'll have to deal with your clothes and hair. How are you doing, Val? Okay, clothes are in the dryer. Let's try to age up Alexandra again. Hopefully without catching anything on fire. Alexandra, blow out candles. Oh, Jasmine, why don't you play pegs while you can? Cyclone took a trip to the library, and so did Charlotte. Are you guys both doing what you should be doing? Looks like you are. Okay, these are jobs that Charlotte can pick from. To maximize our money, we want to have the current day off and as many days after it in a row to be working. And so we don't want these jobs that are off on the weekend because we won't get to work. Oh, but we're workaholic. Uh, no, we still want to do it the way that I said. 
So like mausoleum clerk, we will get four days of work in before next Friday. And, oh, that's good. We get five with receptionist. Yeah. So we're going to take the receptionist because we'll get Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Tuesday as working days. That'll give us five work days. So that's great. Except career. <laughs> Alexandra has reached her teen years and she has the same message that Charlotte did. And Alexandra has also developed the workaholic trait. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Let's make sure these traits actually really got assigned because sometimes they don't. Yeah, you got yours and you got yours. Great. So, I can't send you to the library to use the computer because I know that both computers are in use and... Oh, what's that? Oh, okay. So you are going to have to try to get a job with this computer and you're going to get the same job that your sister did, the, what was it, beverage consultant. And Charlotte, befriend a werewolf, play with the water arena. These are such silly wishes. Talk about new job. I don't know about forensic specialist. I know that takes logic skill and it's really annoying. What's this? Hunted? Unfriendly vampire? What did she do? Why do these people not like us? Wait, they're all acquaintance or better. So I think this pink border is the vampire border. This, so the red must be werewolf. I don't know who doesn't like us. This is weird. Okay. Well. Why don't we top off our bladder? And then we're going to do work from home. Oh, we also need to do our hair and makeup. There we go. Oh, Alexandra is also going to need major hair changes here. Okay. No cake. No cake. Cake, no. Oh. Stupid cake. It ruins everything. Jobs. Fine job. Can I sell this? No. Not for any money. Okay, we just watched Alexandra become a teen. Yay. Did we finish the laundry? Finally? Yes. So you are going to be the spa receptionist as well. Twin. Same job, so cool. Same trade. We are like each other. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't look at Alexander's face. Oh, that's so cute. She looks like a nice girl. Okay. Let's just check what our wishes are. I don't know why they want to play with this water arena. I don't know if we're going to become friends with Dad. I know that's mean. We're not going to skate with Mom either, though. That's not going to happen. So, okay. Actually, we're more likely to play with the water arena than befriend some vampire, because I know Cornelia is probably about to die, because she's she starts the game fairly old. Now it's time to age up these toddlers, because they were meant to age up today. And, Alexandra, I have no idea how you're going to get anything done, but we can try. Oh, right. All you gotta do is start on that. Whoa.